let's do some more trig expansions okay first one if tan x is equal to n tan y we have to write the series for x right okay so now tan x is equal to n tan y we have been given uh, tan x can be written as sin x by cos x is equal to n times sin y by cos y sin x can be written as e to the power of i x minus e to the power of minus i x by 2y times the reciprocal of the exponentiation form so that comes to 2 by e to the power of i x plus e to the power of minus i x is equal to n times sin y will be e to the power of i y minus e to the power of minus i y by 2y times the reciprocal of cos y so 2 by e to the power of i y plus e to the power of minus i y okay now here if you notice 2 and 2 gets cancelled 2 and 2 gets cancelled i and i gets cancelled so we are left with e to the power of i x minus e to the power of minus i x by e to the power of i x plus e to the power of minus i x is equal to n times e to the power of i y minus e to the power of minus i y by e to the power of i y plus e to the power of minus i y now this let's cross multiply it e to the power of i x times e to the power of i y plus e to the power of i x times e to the power of minus i y minus e to the power of minus i x times e to the power of uh, i y and minus e to the power of minus i x times e to the power of minus i y this is the left hand side now the right hand side so n times uh, e to the power of i x times e to the power of i y minus e to the power of i x times e to the power of minus i y then plus e to the power of uh, minus i x times e to the power of uh, i y and finally minus e to the power of minus i x times e to the power of minus i y now how can we simplify this let's multiply it by uh, e to the power of minus i x right what do we get we get 1 e to the power of i x times minus i x is 1 e to the power of i y plus again this becomes 1 so e to the power of minus i y minus e to the power of minus 2 i x times e to the power of i y minus e to the power of minus 2 i x times e to the power of minus i y so that is the left hand side now this becomes 1 again so e to the power of i y minus again 1 so e to the power of minus i y plus e to the power of minus 2 i x times e to the power of i y minus Mm, e to the power of minus 2 i x times e to the power of minus i y now again let's multiply it by e to the power of uh, we could choose any one 
so let's say i y what do we get we get e to the power of 2 i y plus 1 minus e to the power of minus 2 i x times 1 no e to the power of 2 i y minus e to the power of minus 2 i x times 1 is equal to n times e to the power of 2 i y minus 1 plus e to the power of minus 2 i x e to the power of 2 i y minus e to the power of minus 2 i x times e to the power of no 1 okay now let's see what we can do let's uh, rearrange them in some manner e to the power of 2i y 2i y is there any other 2i y here we have 2i y but here we have e to the power of 2i y n times that so we take this common so one is for this and for this on this side when we bring it it will become minus n plus one and here we have minus n on this side it comes it becomes plus n so let's group them together okay now let's take e to the power of minus 2 i x uh, e to the power of 2 i y so this one and this one but here we have a n so if we take it out one we take out common here so what are we left with we should have a minus one here so we have minus one this comes to this side so it becomes minus n minus is already there so plus n and finally minus e to the power of minus 2 i x plus so again let's take common out so one and here this minus when it comes to this side it becomes plus minus is there outside so we say one minus n equal to zero since we have brought everything to left hand side okay now what do we want we want a series of x so x should come to one side okay so how do we do that now what we are going to do is take this 2iy to the other side this whole thing so we get and we multiply it by minus one so what will happen this will become e to the power of minus 2 i x e to the power of 2 i y times 1 plus n okay plus e to the power of minus 2 i x 1 minus n is equal to now this we bring it to this side so we get e to the power of 2 i y because we have multiplied by minus 1 so sign will not change and this is 1 minus n plus 1 plus n okay now what e to the power of minus 2 i x is common to both so e to the power of minus 2 i x e to the power of 2 i y 1 plus n plus 1 minus n is equal to e to the power of 2 i y 1 minus n plus 1 plus n here i have to first write the right hand side so e to the power of 2 i y 1 minus n plus 1 plus n divided by e to the power of 2 i y 1 plus n plus 1 minus n okay so we have got this x on one side now what else can we do now one thing that we can do is let's take the reciprocal of both the sides so this becomes e to the power of 2 i x is equal to e to the power of 2 i y 1 plus n plus 1 minus n divided by e to the power of 2 i y 1 minus n plus 1 plus n we can simplify this by dividing uh, 
or uh, by by dividing all the terms on the right hand side by 1 plus n by 1 plus n so these two will cancel out uh, and we will left, be left with only e to the power of 2 iy but we can't just divide it divide by 1 plus n for only one term we have to divide it for all the terms on the right hand side so we write it as 1 minus n divided by 1 plus n yes so if we uh, really add it up since the denominators are same we just have to add the numerator so it is equivalent now divide it by e to the power of 2 i y 1 minus n by 1 plus n plus 1 plus n by 1 plus n so we have divided all the terms by 1 plus n what do we get these two cancel out and these two cancel out left with 1 so we have 2 i y plus 1 minus n by 1 plus n divided by e to the power of 2 i y times 1 minus n by 1 plus n plus 1 now let's do one thing let's let m is equal to 1 minus n by 1 plus n if we do that what happens on the left hand side remember we have e to the power of 2 i x right hand side becomes e to the power of 2 i y plus m by e to the power of 2 i y m plus 1 now let's take 2 i y e to the power of 2 i y common out so we get e to the power of 2 i y times 1 plus m in the denominator we should have e to the power of 2 i y to cancel it out and that we can write it as e to the power of minus 2 i y divided by now in the denominator we just uh, you know because this is 1 plus so here also we make it as 1 plus m e to the power of 2 i y we can't cancel them remember because this is exponent is negative this is positive so they don't get cancelled okay now let's take the log of e to the power of 2 i x is equal to log to the base e of e to the power of 2 i y 1 plus m e minus 2 i y by log to the base e of 1 plus m times e to the power of 2 i y okay now let me put this bracket so this log and e cancels out we are left with 2 i x is equal to this i can write it as uh, i can write it as log to the base e of e to the power of 2 i y this is multiplication so i can write it as plus log to the base e of 1 plus m e minus 2 i y and division becomes subtraction so log to the base e of 1 plus m e to the power of 2 i y here also log e and e cancel out so 2 i x is equal to 2 i y plus and this again we are going to use the log expansion right log of 1 plus x here x is this entire term similarly x is the entire term so we know what the expansion is m e to the power of minus 2 i y minus m square by 2 e to the power of minus 4 i y that is square of this so minus 4 i y plus m cube by 3 e to the power of minus 
six i y and on and on. I have a minus here. Again, I do the expansion. So m e to the power of two i y minus m square by two e to the power of four i y plus m cube by three e to the power of six i y and on and on. Okay. Now what do I do? Two i y. Now here the thing is. Uh, if you notice this is like i theta and this is i theta so e to the power of i theta e to the power of minus i theta it is in that form m is common to both but here it is minus here it is plus so to reverse this i write r minus m is common to both and e to the power of 2 i y minus e to the power of 2 minus 2 i y plus m square by 2 right m square by 2 e to the power of 4 i y minus e to the power of minus 4 i y then minus just keep verifying it m square by 2 e to the power of 4 i y is this one this is plus y because this minus into minus is plus Okay, so now m cube by 3 e to the power of 6 i y minus e to the power of minus 6 i y and on and on and on. Now remember here I have 2 i x. So what I can do is I can take 2 i and divide it throughout. So x is equal to 2 i y by 2 i x minus m by i no not i let's take it inside the bracket so e to the power of 2 i y minus e to the power of minus 2 i y by 2 i plus m square by 2 e to the power of 4 i y minus e to the power of minus 4 i y by 2 i minus m cube by 3 e to the power of 6 i y minus e to the power of minus 6 i y by 2 y. Remember these two i's are coming from the left hand side. So we divided throughout by 2 y. Now here 2 y and 2 y cancels. Hey, this x will not be there here x will leave it on the left hand side okay so we are left with y minus m what is this this is going to be sine 2y plus m square by 2 sine 4y minus m cube by 3 sine 6y and on and on right and remember where m is equal to 1 minus n by 1 plus n right remember here we did that 1 minus n by 1 plus n so we have written the given expression using the given expression of tan x equal to n tan y using that we have return the series for x okay now let's do the second one now second one is e to the power of a x cos b x is given we have to write this the series of ascending powers of x okay so e to the power of a x cos b x this can be written as e to the power of a x now cos b x can be written as what e to the power of i b x plus e to the power of minus i b x 
y now let's take this eax2 inside and 2 out so we get half of e to the power of ibx plus ax so x is common so a plus ib x plus e to the power of a minus ib x now we know the expansion for e to the power of a complex number right so let's expand it using that half of let's look at the first term 1 plus a plus ib x plus a plus ib square x square by 2 factorial plus and on and on and on then plus the second term 1 plus a minus ib x plus a minus ib square x square by 2 factorial plus and on and on okay now what do we do let's simplify this so we have got if you look at these two series we have 1 plus 1 so that gives us 2 plus a plus ib a minus ib x a plus ib plus a minus ib x plus again a plus ib square by 2 factorial plus a minus ib square by 2 factorial x square and on and on and on okay now instead of writing dot 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 let's write the nth term so that we can work on the nth term so what do we get this would be uh, a plus ib by n factorial to the power of n yes plus a minus ib to the power of n by n factorial and x to the power of n and on and on and on okay now instead of working on the entire series every time let's take the nth term and proceed further so nth term not terms term is equal to what 1 by 2 times x to the power of n is there here divided by if we take the lcm n factorial is common so that we can take it out and what we end up with is a plus ib to the power of n plus a minus ib to the power of n okay and what we can do is instead of taking nth term itself let's take the coefficient of x to the power of n so in that case what happens i don't have to write x to the power of n it is understood so i have got this immediately you should realize that you can convert it into polar forms right so let a is equal to r cos alpha and b is equal to r sin alpha which means our expression becomes 1 by 2 times 1 by n factorial times r cos alpha plus i r sin alpha plus r cos alpha minus r i sin alpha to the power of n okay 1 by 2 times 1 by n factorial now this r is common to both we can take it out and we can take it out of this uh, bracket also by taking r to the power of n so we get r to the power of n times 
cos alpha plus i sin alpha to the power of n plus r no not r cos alpha minus i sin alpha to the power of n and now we can apply the demos theorem what do we get we get cos n alpha plus i sin n alpha plus cos n alpha minus i sin n alpha this and this get cancelled so we get 1 by 2 r to the power of n by n factorial times 2 cos n alpha this 2 and 2 cancels and we get r to the power of n by n factorial cos n alpha and remember this is the coefficient of x to the power of n okay can we leave it as it is as the nth term we could write it using the summation form we can say summation of n equal to 1 to infinity of r to the power of n by n factorial cos n alpha but the problem is alpha doesn't appear in r e a e to the power of ax cos bx so everything should be in those terms in terms of a and b so which means we need to substitute r with something to do with a and b and we have to write alpha in terms of a and b what do we do remember we wrote um, a plus i b as equal to r cos alpha plus r i sin alpha yes so a is equal to r cos alpha and b is equal to r sin alpha now r is equal to we know going to be a square plus b square so let's substitute this in our coefficient of x to the power of n so r to the power of n becomes a square plus b square square root we can write it as 1 by 2 but now we have to the power of n so n by 2 so here we have taken care of this r to the power of n now we have to take care of cos n alpha now how do we do that so let's take cos n alpha okay and this alpha let's you know we can always do something like tan tan inverse which basically cancel out each other so what we'll do is we will write it as cos of n tan inverse of r sin alpha by r cos alpha yes this is nothing but tan alpha Additionally, we have added R R because R sin alpha is equal to A, R cos alpha is equal to, uh, sorry, R sin alpha is B, R cos alpha is A, right? So, now this becomes cos N tan inverse of, this is B and this is A. So, we have converted this cos N alpha to an expression involving not alpha but a and b so therefore coefficient of x to the power of n is equal to uh, this is going to be uh, r to the power of n r to the power of n is a square plus b square to the power of n by 2 this is for r to the power of n divided by n factorial times cos of n 
tan inverse of b by a so the series for e to the power of ax times cos bx is equal to summation of n is equal to 1 to infinity of a square plus b square to the power of n by 2 by n factorial times cos n times tan inverse of b by a okay so here you notice we have to figure out the series for x so a and b are the only other two variables since we are talking of series n has to be there so which means this should contain only a b or n yes and of course finally since we are talking of a series of x so x to the power of n so that is trigonometric expansions that's it bye